Good morning. Good morning. Second day in Fukuoka, and today we're taking a train to a city called Yanagawa. This is south of Fukuoka, and it is famous-ish. It's a historical city, and a lot of people go there to see historical things. Apparently, they have like some rivers, canals, boats. Supposed to be really pretty. It is going to be very beautiful. We're going to learn a lot more than we know now. And today Soon. it is very hot. I am sweating right now. It's gonna She's be ready. fun. We're done. We're oh, let's ready. go, let's go, let's go. Yes, Yanagawa is often called the city of water or the Venice of Kyushu because it has 930 kilometers of waterways originally built as irrigation channels. This region is also famous for a dish known as unagi no siramushi. Eel marinated and steamed over rice served in a lacquerware dish topped with a sweet sauce and you guessed it, we're gonna eat it. So we're traveling VIP today through Yanagawa. We have Hiro and Hiro. And Hiro's gonna be our guide. And I am just so excited that we have a little car to go around in. I'm the most excited because I got sunburnt yesterday and it I need some cover. It felt like a sauna coming out of the train. It is warm. It, it is hot. It's beautiful. Let's go. Let's go in the car. Everyone's waiting. We are essentially doing a one-stop shop to do all things Yanagawa today, as our one and really only stop in the time we have is the Ohana, a centuries-old villa of the Tachibana family. The villa and restaurant overlook the famous Shoto and Garden. We've made it to what I think will be the main event of the day, yeah. which is this unagi box full of Eel. Eel. It's made in a very particular way. We're sitting in this beautiful room. It's like a mansion, a manor of like a lord who lived here and ruled the land. There's a gorgeous Japanese garden behind us along with our tripod, but it's so quiet in here. Mm. Okay. Mm. I bet it's gonna be good actually. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Honestly, that little box was a hearty meal. Admittedly, Matthew enjoyed the eel a little bit more than I did, but overall, it was a palatable dish. The box also had some pickled veggies and a clear broth soup, which had a little surprise I wasn't expecting. Did you finish your soup yet? No. Why? Just see what it's at the bottom. What's at the bottom? <laughs> Why? This is a mushroom. Is it? That's a mushroom. That's not a mushroom, is it? What did you think it was? Like liver or something. Wait. <laughs> this does look like something I saw in anatomy class. <laughs> okay, we just found out. Michael, show the towel. Show the towel. So we got this sweat towel yesterday, and it has Totoro on it from Miyazaki Studio Ghibli. They also made a documentary about Yanagawa. I guess it's on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. So we're gonna go watch that because I had no idea there was a documentary by Studio Ghibli on the place we're visiting. That's which is kind of incredible. After lunch, we toured the villa and grounds. The residence covers 23,000 square meters. Overlooking the lake is the residence's grand banquet hall and a large Japanese room with tatami flooring. We walked around the home where the Tachibana family lived, a mixture of Western and Japanese style building. They had a ton of memorabilia displayed, including dolls, festive decorations, and figurines. We then made our way to a museum full of no costumes, Edo era dolls, and samurai uniforms. So we've had our eel. We've had our eel. We have looked around the. We've I want to say house. it's a palace. It's like a palace. It's like a mansion. Mansion, manor, palace of sorts. We went to the museum. Oh my gosh, in the samurai outfits. And now we're going to take a little boat because this is sort of like the Venice of Japan. There's city. so many canals. If you look at the map and zoom in, it's, it's all canals, canals everywhere. everywhere. So we're gonna get on a boat, do a little canal trip. It's gonna be great. Shizuka Tachibana and her staff give us a traditional Japanese goodbye as we head back to Fukuoka for our last evening before we leave for Osaka. We are sad to leave but also excited for what's in store for us tonight in Fukuoka. We are freshened up from our day because it was very hot and we are very sweaty. We have this little lounge it's and huge. they told us that we could come in here anytime and we could have beer, wine, whatever. Anyways. Basically, the basics hotel is not basic. It's not basic at all. Like, it's, look at this. What did you find? So, I think you have to put a coin in in order to, like, get your wine. But they have li a literal container of coins right here. So, it's just like, okay, yeah, I'll put a coin in. Ah, then it lights up. Oh my god, there it goes. Jeez, that was instant. Whoa. 
I'm never going back. We are back in central Fukuoka to experience Yatai food stalls, and look at this gorgeous evening we get to enjoy. First, a few model pics of Matthew, then on to the main event. We just passed a host club. Okay, so a host club is a place, a club, where it, it's like guys who dress up in nice outfits, nice suits, and women pay to go and spend time with them. They might have a drink together, have a conversation. It's just that they're pretty. Yeah, it's kind of like paying for company with really funny sexual undertones. It's like a strip club without the stripping. We walked through the gay district of Fukuoka a little bit and then headed down to the river walk where tons of food stalls were packed full of people already. It's Asahi! I love Asahi. We're gonna try Yoza and then we're, uh, I guess you hop from stall to stall and you try a little something at each. So this is our first stop of the night. We're gonna go for it. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. So the yozas here is different. This is called the Hakata Yoza. This is like bite size and it's specific to just the region. Small, garlicky, one bite, different and delicious. Mmm, yum. Oh, oh my. Fried noodle. Yeah, it's dry. Fukuoka special. Oh really? Wait, what's it called? Yakira. Ooh baby, it was hot out and we are sitting feet away from the burners making all the food, but let me tell you, it was worth every drop of sweat. That yaki ramen was out of this world. So good, that's it. As difficult as it was to peel ourselves away from the Atai food stalls, we had a reservation to get to, the Kirby Cafe. Full of ridiculously cute dishes, we flipped through pages of Waddle Dee's nap time omelet rice and Kirby Nom Nom Loco Moco bowls to ultimately decide on a Kirby card jello cake and exploding Kirby parfait. Overall cute, but quality-wise, not worth your penny. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry gelatin. Morning. Good morning. I'm tired. I know. <laughs> Somebody got up at 6.30 this morning to go to the gym. I just like was kind of up at 6-ish, and I was like, I need to move. I need to move my body, which we've been walking the whole time, so I don't know why. I feel like I need to do that. Now we're going to Ohori Park, and it's our last day in Fukuoka. We're actually leaving this afternoon to go to Osaka! Yeah. Osaka's the second biggest city. Fukuoka feels pretty big. I mean, they, I think she said there's like 1.6 million people here, but at Osaka, I think it's gonna feel much much busier even. Ohori is Japanese for moat, as the park's pond once served as part of the moat system for a neighboring Fukuoka castle. There's a walking path around the circumference of the pond where you will find locals walking, running, and biking. We stopped by a newly built cafe with specialty teas and snacks. Look Michael, it's Nori. <laughs> Our cat's named Nori. As we sipped on tea and ate little cheesecakes, Carl, who joined us for the morning, gave us a little insider detail into a region that is rarely visited but as some of the highest quality tea in the world. Did I find? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't find anything. Carl told me. <laughs> There's an area in, well, this is testing my knowledge now. There's an area in uh, Fukuoka province called Yame. And in Yame, there's a smaller town area called Hishonomura. Hoshinomura. Hoshinomura. And it's a very historically old place. We went to Yanagawa yesterday. Hoshinomura is older than Yanagawa. This is a very traditional place where tea is grown. So the tea that we're drinking right now is from Yame. Maybe Hoshinomura, maybe a different area in Yame. It's not super well known. A lot of tourists don't go there, but they should. What in the world? It, you you walk on it, to, it's a, like a foot massage. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it hurts and it feels good. It's, whoa, relieving all of the tension in my body right now. <laughs> Are you in love? Yeah. As we head back to Hakata Station, we take advantage of this air-conditioned room in the metro station. Then it's time to try and find lunch to take on the train. We're picking up bento boxes for lunch on the train. And it smells so good. Look at all of them. The amount of food in Japanese metro stations is mind boggling. Aisles and aisles of refrigerated food ready to go. Yes. Found mine. I was trying to find something that wasn't like cold red meat. We found a slightly warm pork cutlet. Did you get a shrimp face? A shrimp face? Did you get one of the shrimp no, I got the, um, just like a, a assortment of fish. Is this one that you got? Yeah, I got this one over here. Say goodbye to Fukuoka, bento boxes in hand, as we make our way on the two and a half hour train ride to Osaka, where we may have gotten the best greeting we've ever received. Yes! Eriko came to pick us up! Oh! Look at the sign! It's so cute! 
Do not miss what we got up to in Osaka. Matthew will be taking you on that journey, and oh boy, it's a good one. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.